Welcome to the Paper Patio from Hell, part one, where I learned a lot of things. I was so excited to do this project to get our ugly trailer off our driveway, so we decided to put an extra little patio here. We had some bricks that we took out of our backyard when we poured our concrete patio back there, so I wanted to reuse those for this paper patio, and here we are. I dug everything out, I dug and I dug and I dug and I dug some more, and finally when I felt like it was down far enough, we got a load of sand and started spreading it so we could lay our pavers on it, but it wasn't long before I realized that we actually needed some rock base under the sand first. So I dug all of the sand out and we added a layer of rock base and tamped it down. And then we started adding the sand back in only to realize that since we would be sloping the patio in two directions, it was gonna be way easier if we poured some concrete curbing first. That means that we would lock the pavers in from the outside, but it would also allow us to set the pavers at the right slope much easier. So we set up and poured the forms and yes, it was late at night. <laughs> And I realized that even though we only intended for our empty trailer to sit on it, the next owners of this home probably wouldn't know not to park on it. And we just needed to do it right. So I dug out all of the rock base and sand that we painstakingly put in there. And I also dug out about six more inches of dirt so that we could add a thicker layer of rock base. This is where we're at. Can't wait to show you the rest. <laughs> 